weekend of really cold winters, Stark Beauty and 10,000 Lakes chock full of fish. We've traveled 11 hours to get to Madison, Minnesota to try fish that is pickled in lye. Yeah, that's a long time. Over a century ago, lots of Norwegians and Swedes left icy cold Scandinavia for a better life in icy cold Minnesota. And one of the most important things they packed was a dish called lunafisk. It's codfish that was dried to preserve it through winters that can last for eternity. And the ancient lunafisk cooking tradition is a curious one. It involves a bath of lye and results in an aroma so pungent you can smell it from miles away. Every November here in Madison, Minnesota, they light up for Norse Fest, a celebration of all things Norse. And folks aren't shy about sharing their feelings for the lunafisk tradition. Well, how would you describe the taste of a lunafisk? Oh, what I'd say is it's slimy and it tastes real bad. Not, not good. A festival devoted to fish that no one wants to eat. Great. My mission to find someone with true love for the lunafisk. I'm not qualified to do this alone, so we've enlisted the help of the lunafisk queen, who should be here any moment. You must be the lunafisk queen. Aha! Hi. Welcome to Madison, Mark. Oh, here. Th this is like a, a Fargo head, eh? Right. I like it. Okay. Let's yeah. go in now. What exactly is lunafisk? It's a delicacy fish that's close to lobster. Uh, close alphabetically to lobster or close in to taste? In taste. All right. Give me well, a tour. Okay, gladly. I need to go around <laughs> with the queen. One thing's for sure, these Norwegians sure know how to party. During Norse Fest, there are some crazy events, like out out racing, an eating contest, and the Loup de Resistance, Lutefisk feed at the downtown American Legion. But right now, Queenie's escorting me to Lutefisk Central, the local grocery store, to get a closer look at this famous filet. We're looking for some Lutefisk. I have never uh, seen it. Joe McCoy right there. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh. Wow. When you're done cooking it, the smell will be gone. <laughs> the smell will still be in the kitchen. There's a sentence that you want to hear about food you're going to eat. When you're done cooking it, the smell will be gone. Your eyes will have bled, and you'll be blind, and maybe crippled in one leg. But the smell is gone. <laughs> All right, let's go. Queen Ivy is escorting me to the American Legion, where they're cooking up a mess of the stuff for tonight's feed. This job stinks. How you doing, ladies? It smells a little funny in here. That's not you, is it? Okay. <laughs> the Norman, the Scandinavian would not say that. Oh, no, all right. Well, it's got just that German. Well, by the way, you're, you're not Norwegians? <laughs> We're all German. We're all German. <laughs> we just cook it. We <laughs> will cook it, but we will not eat it. That is right. <laughs> Codfish starts dried out, then it's soaked in delicious lye to get it really bloated. It's rinsed thoroughly in water and baked 35 to 40 minutes until flaky. I'd help you, but then I'd have to touch it. <laughs> I wonder if I can get out of here without sampling this fish. Oh, you ready to keep working? Thanks for letting me uh, come and hang out in the kitchen. We'll be back. Okay. Maybe now I'll have a little lupus. Now it's like your And then uh, maybe see me work you. You will love our doctor. <laughs> We're chilling out at Norse Fest in Madison, Minnesota, a celebration of the town's Scandinavian roots and a stinky, smelly fish called lunafisk. So far, we haven't really found a lot of people who like this stuff, but maybe the hardcore loot fans are at our next event. In only four minutes, the world famous outhouse racing is going to be happening right here in downtown Madison, Minnesota. Crowds are gathering. Not here, but I'm sure somewhere, crowds are gathering and there's a there's an electricity in the air because soon the toilet on wheels is going to be racing around the obstacle course and the town will be filled with screaming racing toilet fans. Okay, there's no Scandinavian tradition of racing toilets. This is the end product of Lunafest. It's where it ends up. Now, if you're lucky, but if you make it here, I'm sorry. This, this is one of those psychological challenges, right? When you turn to the left, it goes right. When you turn to the right, it goes left. Oh. 
The race goes like this. Two people push the opposite steering out outs while the third one drives it. Fastest time wins. NASCAR is not a sport. This, this is a sport. The first racers loop their laboratory in a time of 1 minute 56 seconds. That is the time to beat. I'm teaming up with a Norwegian exchange student and some local kid. I'm going to make them push me. You must be done. 